Welcome back to my channel and welcome to the mini diecast show SEMA 2024 Let's take a view of what we actually got here We got the one and only custom Ford Unicorn Build Right here Then we got a Porsche 935 GT wide body V10 with the twin turbocharged RB26 Nissan GTR R35 Let's take a closer look at these details much detail this one is really low really low to the ground still using the stock uh, window this one's been water has been changed got white interior i moved it from the left hand drive to the right hand drive custom old v10 engine with that 935 gt as well as you can see custom white body and custom paint take a look at this mustang more onto the nissan gtr this is mamba because you don't see it Custom road cage, custom drift. It's really, really low. Nice white body. Let's check that Nissan GTR out. Closer look. Really insane, isn't it? On to the other section. This is like the hill climb and time attack vehicles. So we got the t uh, two door. Hill climb vehicle has been swapped with a V10 twin turbocharged V10 with the bumper being removed. Let's check that out. Nice paint, custom paint, custom white body. Originally, the car had a white body, but everything add on is fully iron and everything else. Let's check that out. And then on to this Lamborghini. This is going to be the ultimate time attack. Lamborghini. Full built cage. Steering. Nice rear wing as well. A new engine. These tires will return back to the Mustang GT. But they got LS V12 in there. Going to be wide body as well. Fully built road cage. Everything gonna happen really nice no front uh, Lamborghini Murcielago front end because it, it's gonna be more of a standoff vehicle basically for miniature modeling onto this Cadillac Coupe de Ville twin turbocharged LS9 engine nothing much here uh, but it is a wide body uh, Definitely going to have to do some work on this in the upcoming future. It looks kind of crazy with this white body, but definitely, definitely, it's going to be one of the craziest time attack classic vehicles of all time. Just check it out. But since we're on LS engines, let's swap and go to this V12 LS twin turbocharged VW. Bus, bus, meant for speed. Let's just check that out. Obviously, stock wheels, just painted white. Insane graphics. Of just check that. Also, it got uh, light bar as well. Quad exhaust pipes also on the door as well. It has a skull as well. And on to the LS. This is the future 2025 build already. And we're back at the CMA show at this booth. Whatever this boot is called, 
Passing the quad turbocharged Ferrari 458 white body. This still the debate on what this is actually. It's a front of a McLaren NL900, but the rear of Mad Mike's McLaren P1. But it's a McLaren 600 LT. And you got the twin turbo charged and supercharged Hellcat powered Audi R8 and the twin turbo V10 Lamborghini Huracan. Uh, my painting is not too skilled, but that's kind of cool. And you got the Lamborghini Aventador wide body, um, the second gold. It's called I call it. And then you got the most hated one, the. You know I don't want to say it. At all, but the Lamborghini V12 swap. Ferrari 812, with the Lamborghini rear wing. Lamborghini SV rear wing and the front splitter I cannot find it at this point but it will be put up I just check it out so I'm gonna switch show you guys cool bills that I was just so bored this one McLaren still has to be finished so as, as the Ferrari as well closer look at this and you've got the triple exhaust pipes and the Nice carbon rear wing. There's the 458 engine. And for the McLaren, still fixing the white body, but the massive single turbo V12 drift uh, McLaren 600LT slash NL slash Mad Mike's with a custom McLaren P1 GTR GT1 rear wing. So that's interesting. And you've got the rear of the twin turbocharged. Supercharged Audi R8. Just check out the rear of this uh, Lamborghini. Crazy exhaust pipes. This rear wing, believe it or not, was on this uh, Ferrari 458, but then I switched it. It does have a M120 Pagani Zonda FV12 AMG engine swap. This one I haven't done. I haven't finished the rear of the Ferrari yet. But it's looking kind of cool actually. If I take a step back. Custom rear. Um, rear wing and Lamborghini. Twin Lamborghinis. Ferrari. It's a nice SEMA type show. As you can see. Although there's no miniature people. But that's still cool. On to the outside. This is where the hot rods and trucks are at. Putting the trucks nicely. You're passing through the hot rods. Custom hot rods. Here's my pontoon Ford. Here's my hot rod. Here's a nice off road custom. Onto this Ford truck. C550 custom single turbo making immense power fully hand belt custom one off just check it out framework this thing is down to the ground and very very low just check it out custom paint custom engine Let's check this and now we want to do something for the desert. This is the custom zero die cast. We got this one, just finished it recently. No name for it yet, but it's a Ford Woody. Here's the pontoon. Another hot rod build. This is a drift hot rod. Here's my other hot rod. It's a, like a gangster type hot rod. All the way from the 70s. Here's my drag. Hot rod. This is Porsche hot rod. Onto the off roaders. Jeep with suspension. Fitted with Ferrari 458 twin turbocharged engine. Rear suspension and front suspension. 
his other jeep as well nice graphics really good no engine yet haven't figured that out just yet he's an, uh, recently built off-road uh, pre-runner on to the others more detail work and the Porsche the drag hot rod Check it at LX3 engine twin turbo. This is a nice supercharged. I've been going through all of them. Nice decent graphics. As you guys can just check that out. Really, really nicely. Fully, fully crazy. My favorite has to be the Drake Hot Rod, the T Bucket, and the 996 Porsche. Hot Rod, one of one, but an antenna is missing from there. Going through last bit, checking them out. Pontoon with no engine yet. Just checking the graphics out on this. On to something really cool, the six-wheeler 4J drift truck. Very complicated build this was. Had to hack it up. Pretty much rebuild the entire rear. From the framing you guys can see everything is fully custom built. The framing work is very complicated. Extremely complicated. But the rear wing makes up for how proportional it is as well um not complete build at all still got some tons of work to do as for the 4j that's going to be a mission on its own on to the ford f-150 the twin turbocharged ford gt350 powered F-150 Drift Tribute Build Haven't really had much luck with this one Just pretty much It does have front and rear suspension As for the engine It's a one-off engine The wheels fit really well As well um, Iron Wide body front and rear and side I haven't done much to the truck except dropped it and widened it as for the v12 boat that's another talk here's the 2jz gte truck next to the newly built v10 scania powered main tgs european racing truck with the crazy skull graphics at the back. This takes some time to appreciate the fine detail work. This truck has been mod modernized and it's been stripped like a lot. It's the main TGS the replacement of this 2JZ powered European racing truck. Can never be replaced. This is one of my best customs so far. Maybe I shouldn't have went with the stripes back then, but now I know. As for the twin turbocharged 2JZ Demon, we got the twin turbocharged Ferrari wagon, which is just a Chevy Norman. A tribute build. Single turbo RB26 powered custom Daytona charger, fully built, wide body and everything. Custom built. Really got that wing fixed to place. That was the challenging part. Now we just think of graphics for the uh, Norman wagon. as well 
get some fine details maybe the bodywork hasn't been up to standard here's the two jc twin turbo demon pretty more power than the original engine would have put out engine still uncomplete projects in the booth as well lots of uncomplete projects but just check out that demon is complete and looking crazy as always drop to the ground passing the norman heavy norman with ferrari twin turbocharged engine as a rival to the 